Hey guys, it's Amanda. What's up? I'm actually so excited to be able to say that I'm going to be bringing you guys along for a thrift trip because it has been way too long and I'm officially done school. Like I am a graduate, which is honestly insane. So now I have all the time, but not really because I'm actually going to LA in the next two days and that's why I'm going thrifting to hopefully find some amazing things to bring with me. I was just filming my vlog intro before filming this. So I will be vlogging my entire LA trip and my entire LA preparation. But anyways, as you guys know, it's been way too long since we've done a come thrift with me, like genuinely, what the fuck. And I've actually been thrifting a little bit through my break, like my come thrift with me break. The last time that I went thrifting, just really quickly, I actually found some amazing things. I already did the haul in my LA intro vlog because honestly the pieces are for LA. And then for the trip that I'm going on, after that, which is to Florida. But I'll just really quickly show you because I can't hold back. Roxy bathing suit, are you joking? The fit, the size, everything is perfect for me. These perfect silver heels, they're exactly my size. And then I got these gold Aldo. These are perfect. I'm not kidding, I don't know how. I just found these right as I'm looking for heels to bring away with me to LA. And then this really cute, just yellow t-shirt by Everlast, just like a little baby tee. If you wanna hear me like scream about those pieces, go watch the LA vlog. But anyways, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for my last thrift trip in preparation for my LA trip. And then also I'm just looking for summer pieces in general, spring pieces in general. Let's go. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit actually before we leave. It's very casual. I always do a tank top whenever I'm filming these videos so I can actually try things on. So I'm wearing this white tank that I got from ThreadUp. It's actually so comfortable. I don't know what the brand is. And then I thrifted this little DKNY hoodie kind of recently, I think. I probably featured in a Come Thrift With Me. And then I'm wearing these white pants, which I thrifted in a recent Come Thrift With Me. I'll put it in the cards. They're like very flared, perfect wide leg. If you saw one of my recent vlogs, you would have heard me say that I've been buying a ton of new shoes. And I recently got these S skate shoes. I have these in cream, but I really needed a white shoe to replace my Air Force. And these are perfect. They even have silver stitching on the back. Like these were made for me. So I've been trying my best to keep these obviously as clean and white as possible. But the weather in Toronto, like I don't even know what it is right now. It was just pouring rain now, it's really sunny. But I think I'm gonna do this white vest, just throw on top. And then I'm gonna do my little A bag, which is kind of like the exact same tone as this sweater. Okay, let's just go over what I'm manifesting for this thrift trip really quickly. Perfect bathing suits. Perfect, just like sexy tank top, going out tops, dresses. Like I just need one dress, like oh my God. I am not joking when I tell you, I am prioritizing recording this voiceover for you over preparing anything for my trip. I am determined to get this video up for you while I'm in LA. Let's just hop in, let's get into it. You guys probably know by now that I love Roxy. I will always pick up a Roxy piece, even if it's a purple children's bag. <laughs> like this is not necessarily a piece I'm looking to add into my wardrobe, but I just had to add it into the cart. I've definitely added the little girl section into my thrift rotation. I think it was the last time that I filmed a come thrift with me that I found the baby fat pink sweater in this section, so I never skip it. Today I did not find anything. It's really hit or miss. I usually just look in the extra large size range. The bra section has not hit for me this entire year, but today I found two bras, this yellow one from Licenza that I had to get just because if I ever wanna be Belle for Halloween, first of all, this is what I'll be wearing. <laughs> like, I'm never gonna do that, but I just love a yellow bra. And then I found this pink cherry blossom bra that's originally from Aerie, but them together, the pink and yellow are so cute. I found so many shoes in this thrift trip. We're starting off with this little Aldo pair, literally little, they're like a six and a half, not my size. Also, I don't know if I would wear these, but I know some of you guys would appreciate them and I will be showing you everything I think you will appreciate, okay? This denier leather jacket is the last thing I need for my LA trip. I think if the fit was different, you'll see it in the try-on, then I would 
be about it. It's not that I don't want to wear that color, but I don't want to wear it in an oversized coat. I've specifically been looking for a little boy short bikini bottom exactly like this. And I never am one to mix bikinis. You know what I mean? Like it's a set for a reason. Don't play with it. But I can just imagine those green shorts with a perfect white triangle bikini top. I filmed this yellow bikini top just to be able to tell you that I really want original 2000s Corona bikini. Okay, these Sam Edelman flip flops are low key amazing. I feel like you have to see past the darker brown leather because your foot would cover it. You know what I mean? And then just having that beige with the cork would be really cute. I feel like I've seen these shoes at the thrift store multiple times. The condition was not great. Obviously we're checking out the track jacket section. I wanna say luckily I didn't find anything cause I actually don't need another track jacket. It's getting a little bit out of control. But I did find this Harley Davidson pink and black sweater. I originally thought it was Juicy Couture cause the tag was very gothic, similar to the Juicy one. And then I found this gray, I don't even know. Like I only like this because it was a little bit distressed. The seams were just left raw, which I really love. I found these red heels. These would be perfect except for the gold buckle. It just makes them look so cheap in my opinion, especially because I would be wearing them with silver jewelry. Like it's just not happening for me. A section that I'm so excited to be acquainting myself with is the shorts section, the women's shorts section, because it has been years since I've wanted to wear short shorts and I still don't know if I personally will wear them. These guest pinstripe shorts, like they're just not it because of the length. I would feel like a circus member. Do you know what I mean? In the athletic section, I found this little black tennis skirt honestly, whatever. And then a tiny pair of Hollister shorts. I definitely do want a pair of short sweatshorts, short sweatshorts but not that short, <laughs> to be honest. The capri section was kind of a flop. I found these denim capris, but they were pushing it. Like these are almost just a cropped jean. They were too long. And then these capris were majorly high-waisted. Capris are hard because the length just has to be perfect and it's often not. In the skirt section, I found this little denim mini skirt. The tag is so cute. I honestly have this skirt in 20 different variations. I did like the rip in the bottom, but I can just do that to one of my skirts, you know what I mean? But perfect for summer if you don't have one of these, I feel like it's very essential. In the dresses section, of course I find a track jacket, like stop playing with me. Luckily it was very pilly and I just knew, Amanda, I don't wanna say it, but I obviously didn't need it. It didn't even make it in the cart. That's called self control okay however i did find this denim mini dress which i only paid attention to because i'm going to la in a few hours you know what i mean i was like could this be cute with my silver heels i like that the neckline was a subtle sweetheart neckline it wasn't anything crazy but you'll see when i try it on the fit was just really off there's potential but unfortunately it flopped I thought these Aldo wedges were cool. They were too big for me, so I did not add them to the cart, but I feel like you would need to wear them with a huge belt and like a very neutral outfit. Then I found these Vince Camuto heels and I was like, oh my God. But like, I don't even like them that much. If these were a lot more pointed, I definitely would have purchased, but they're just not giving it. It's it's not even close. In the athletic shirts section, I found this brand new Puma tank top which actually fits me perfectly. These are not two colors that I would typically wear. Together, it just works. I did try and style it to bring with me for LA, but it just was not working, so I'm gonna have to spend some more time with that. I thought this jersey was so funny. This is not really my personal style like my take on jerseys will not be this but it was fun i normally never check out the men's section because i just don't have energy after going through all the women's clothes but today i was determined to find a pair of basketball shorts which i did i found these nike black and white basketball shorts which almost give off a fishnet vibe they're so oversized that i feel like it kind of looks like a skirt when i'm wearing it which i love my basketball shorts collection is definitely growing i've been collecting them for so long and then I found this classic navy and white pair. These are definitely more breathable for the summer. The black and white pair are thick.
I circled back to the little girls section and I found this adorable pink tank top. I mean, I knew it was gonna be too small for me, but I still wanted to try it on and you'll see it in the try-ons. And then I found these Salomon shoes. I feel like they're a cross between a sandal and a running shoe, but the fact that I know the person who was wearing bare feet in these kind of weirded me out a little bit. And also just because if somebody was barefoot in these, their sweat would have really shaped the shoe to their foot. So I was like, honestly, I'm gonna pass on these. Then I headed over to a mirror to try everything on. These are all of my pieces. So the two bras, which I'm obsessed with, the little Puma tank, the little pink tank, and then the navy basketball shorts, the black basketball shorts, this denim dress that had potential, but let me tell you. And then the classic mini skirt, these guest capris, <laughs> this bathing suit, and the denier blue leather jacket. Obviously, I started with the Puma tank top. Like, we knew that was gonna happen. The fit is perfect. You can see it fits exactly as it needs to under my armpit. It's not cutting off my circulation, which is often a problem for me with tank tops. I'm actually crazy about the way things fit me. But just based on the fact that this is comfortable, I'm gonna wear it every day this summer. Yeah, this pink tank top was obviously too small for me and see-through because I was stretching it. It's a kid's extra large, not my size, but so adorable. And I'm like, can we make these in women's sizes, please? This is the denim dress. It just pulls at my waist and the pockets are so bulky. It's just not a piece that I need at all. Like I'm not against a denim mini dress, just not this one. This blue denier jacket, obviously it's striking. Like that's just the word I have to use to describe the color. It's so good, but I'm not buying this at the end of April as I'm entering all my summer travel plans. I can acknowledge it's a great piece. I just, I don't need it. I don't need it. Even though it was only $24 for a denier leather jacket, which is so much cheaper than they normally are. Just by holding up these basketball shirts, I was like, yes, I need these. And then these navy ones would have been cute, but they were kind of pilly. I was trying to show it in this clip, but you can't really tell. Cute mini skirt, but as I said, I really, I don't need it. Somebody once commented, it's so annoying when you say you don't need it, but I don't. And this is a reminder that you probably don't need most of the things that you're picking up in the thrift store either, okay? These guest shorts, I just couldn't help but feel like I needed to wear a top hat, as I said, if I was wearing them. This purse definitely gave little girl which i don't know i'm interested to see what you guys think but it's just not something that i'm it's not my vibe you know i don't need that these were all of my yeses so colorful like excuse me this is more color than i've bought all year and then these are all of the no's yeah as i mentioned after contemplating these vince commuter heels i was like <laughs> i'm in a what are you doing i put them back on the rack these sam edelman flip-flops unfortunately did not fit me and then these red heels they were kind of peeling on the top there as you can see which is all i needed to say no thank you and then i wheeled over to the home section as i always do after i've gone through all of my things and then i was just recircling the whole store and i found this black lace tank top which honestly is a piece that I do need. I quickly tried it on and I love that the straps were also lace. I feel like that's kind of rare with camis. They're usually like that cheap elastic. The fit wasn't amazing, but I feel like this is a piece that I honestly would use to layer with. So I decided I would get it. I did not decide I would get it in that clip, but after I did. Yeah, and that concludes my thrift trip for LA. I'm now going to enlighten you with a haul. I just got back from Valley Village. Whenever I get back from thrifting, I am so exhausted. Like it really just drains all my energy and I feel like I'm so focused, like way more than I am when I'm not filming and thrifting. I can't lie, I'm so stressed out about my preparation for LA because I really don't know what I'm gonna wear while I'm on this trip. Like. I really have tomorrow to figure it out. It'll work out, but I do have a lot of stuff to do. So we're gonna do this haul. This package was also waiting for me when I arrived home. So I'm gonna share it with you. A subscriber of mine named Amina reached out to me to send me a few pieces from her Depop, which is curated by Amina, and she has some really cute stuff. So we're gonna get into this after I show you what I got from Value Village. Okay, let's do it. First thing is this green bathing suit. Now you can see the shade of green that it actually is. 
I swear every single angle I tried to film it in a thrift store just would not show you. It's marked as a size small. It looks a little bit bigger, but honestly, I feel like bottoms are always deceiving. I've wanted a kind of like booty short bikini bottom for a while and I've been looking on Poshmark and haven't really come across any that I've been too obsessed with. This just looks like it's gonna be the perfect fit for me and I'm just really eager to try out this style of bikini bottom and see how I like it. This bikini was only $4.99. It's originally from Old Navy. I don't love when tops are sewn in the center here just because you can't really adjust them, but we'll see. This is the kind of bottom that I would actually mix and wear with a white bikini top. Then I picked up these two bras, which it's been so long since I found bras at the thrift store. And I feel like both of these will actually fit me perfectly, hence why I got them. This yellow bra from Lacenza. I don't know if it's missing a bow on this side or if it only had one. I'm just gonna tell myself that it only has one. And then this pink one just reminded me of pink cherry blossoms and it looks really comfortable. The colors together are perfect. I had to buy them. They were each $5.99. Oh my God. Okay, then I got this Puma top, which is incredible, mainly because of the fit. It fits me so well. And just based on that alone, I will wear it all the time. It's like this maroon purple. It's like just really off colors, but it works together. And then the back has Puma just embossed. It's just adorable. Like the fact that this is centered, everything is just as it should be. The quality is amazing. As I was about to leave, okay, I did happen to see this and it wasn't even just hanging on the rack. It was like under two items. This black lace cami, I just had to get. I think I have to play around with how I would adjust these straps because it wasn't the most flattering when I tried it on, but I feel like that's also because I tried it on on top of my white tank top. This is just a perfect layering piece. Like even if I don't love the way that it's kind of loose. I won't wear it as just a tank top, I'll layer it under something, you know? It was $6.99. Then I picked up these basketball shorts. I always pick up basketball shorts that are so heavy. Like these are not gonna be breathable in the summer at all. This cutout detail, I love the little dotted fishnet vibe going on. And honestly, I just feel like these are perfect. Imagine these with a really strappy black heel and then just a white really fitted tank top you know like that's so simple and like i would just wear that on a night out they were only 8.49 which is really crazy to me because they're nike and normally sport branded things um are more expensive at Valley village that is everything i picked up i didn't find any accessories or anything but oh my god the last time that i was at Valley village i was just meeting my friend and i was like hey i'll just look at the jewelry section i found this silver cross necklace which i definitely need to polish i don't have a dainty cross like this the chain is perfect, it's sterling silver. I just need to polish it, but I love it. I have honestly found the best sterling silver necklaces from Valley Village. So I picked that up. Now let's get into this package from Amina, obsessed with Polly Mailer. I honestly have been talking about wanting a lace long sleeve and I've been scouring Poshmark. Oh my God, stop. Hope you enjoy your new items. Every piece is curated and packaged with love. I've been scouring. Poshmark for a lace long sleeve and this is exactly What I've been looking for like are you kidding me this okay? Honestly, even just the fact that I came home to this justifies my black tank top because I can easily just layer this under and that's so cute This is just an essential piece for Spring and summer you could dress this up so easily or literally wear it over a bikini. There's no brand But this is actually perfect and it's very soft and then I picked out this blue crocheted long sleeve. This is so not a piece I would typically be drawn to, but I just love the color. When I'm tanned it will be so amazing. And I'm gonna be in Florida for a month. So I need things like this to honestly throw on top of a bikini. And it's kind of nice to have a long sleeve when you've been in the sun all day. But thank you so much, Amina, for sending me these pieces. I am honestly obsessed and this does ease my stress a little bit about my packing because this is coming with me, okay? I feel like this is just gonna be my shirt for the entire time I'm in LA. I will link her Depop down below. You guys can check it out and shop her stuff. She has so many cute things. I guess I'm gonna end this come thrift with me here. I'm now gonna go take every garment out of my dresser and start styling outfits for my LA trip. <laughs> if you wanna see me do that, check out my LA vlog. It'll be going up after this video, but when it is up, I'll link it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. 